Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time and today we are taking a look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Just announced today and yeah, let's check out if this is for, there's no time, it's already shipping right now, you know what it's like. Uh, we have to make quick decisions. Is it for you? Is it worth the switch? All that and more. Coming up. All right, guys. Welcome if you're new to this channel. Here we do music, movies, tech reviews, short films, entertainment, basically. If you love to watch movies or learn how to make movies, yep, this is the channel for you. So quickly, I'm gonna tell you straight up, I'm not 100% happy about the changes that Blackmagic made. And, uh, but regardless, I am getting the camera. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I had a pro I just got the black magic pocket 6k and it had a problem developed a problem I had to return it and got another one and the other one just came fresh out of the box you know and I just for me I just don't see the justification to just go ahead and return it again because I want to get a new camera that is isn't shipping right now so um, while I may while you may want to say oh you know what return it this is a good time you know my conscience will allow me make this switch so what i'm going to do for me personally i'm going to hold on to it for a while i just don't see myself giving away this one to wait for that plus i got projects coming up and i don't want to be waiting for that you know and don't and actually have to postpone the project again i told you about it before so for my case, just to let you know that I'm not going to be in a rush, even though anything can happen, any switch can, you know, take place. But however, if I have my way, you know, I will want to grab on that as soon as possible. I'm not going to wait anyway. I know I'm going to sell this eventually, you know, hopefully not much loss, but and get that because uh, it's a no-brainer guys it's a no-brainer if you're looking for a new camera go ahead and get that now and let's just talk about what they changed in this camera number one which is my most valued is the in inclusion of internal ends okay I love the fact that they did that and put the internal ends in the camera now we won't have to buy this now this is one reason why I say one reason why I say it's a no-brainer. Without tax, it costs 245 bucks. 245 already. So we are almost there. Number two reason why you need to get the new Pro is the battery life. Dealing with this thing is ridiculous. On a, uh, on a game bar for 30 minutes. Even for 30 minutes, you're scared. If this thing is gonna die on you and the fact that the, the battery you probably already have it lying around um, we use it for lights I use it for um, my follow focus on the tilter we use it for sliders it's the same battery we so I've got a lot of them hanging around it's a no-brainer number three the tilt the flip up screen now the fact that you can flip up and flip down makes the extra burden of uh, external of an external monitor you know i know you it doesn't i don't think it will kill i don't think it will make you not use a monitor but i think when using a gimbal you can do without a monitor from what i saw you know he said something about the screen being brighter now it will be much appreciated to have a, a gimbal to hold your gimbal without having to mount 
a monitor on the device and make it even heavier. So with that tilt up screen, you could get a good view and enjoy your gimbal experience. Now, how much was it to mod this thing the other time when Tilter tried to sell this, you know, modding screen and all that? It was almost 500. So that's a no brainer. We have to get it. Um, you have to get it. You know, it's a. I think I think this Pocket 6K is going to suffer a lot more from this switch than the Pocket 4K because the Pocket 4K is got its own it's its own it's just on another world it's almost like knocking this one off the radar it's like we don't need you anymore because it's going to have that much impact on the black, uh, Pocket 6K I think so I think so it's going to have much impact because when you look at this from this perspective someone trying to buy a 6k right now will go for the pro no brainer because if you don't if you try to save that 500 bucks you will spend more than that coping with this 6k in fact thinking about it i just might pre-order right now oh god I really don't want to put myself in stress, but the truth is that it's a no-brainer. From what I saw, it's like six stops of, of uh, NDs internal. I don't think I will be needing, well, I think I might need more than six stops. You know, but six stops looks like right, right enough. Like you probably not need more than that. I don't think you need more than six stops ever. But just in case I got this one, you know, I don't think I'll be returning it. Next, number four would be the color science. The Gen 5 color science, it's a no-brainer, get it. it. We wanna jump on that. I know that the, this camera, the 4K and the 6K, um, are gonna have updates in a month or so. This camera or the Pro is coming with the update already installed, you wouldn't need to install it that's a plus what else is there hmm xlr xlr mount now it's coming with two xlrs uh of course there are two mm, mini xlrs now you might some people might say well, the preamps are not great. Why would I need the XLR? Well, actually the preamps are not that bad. But however the case may be, I've got two channels of audio, XLR audio, and I think that I can use professionally. I think so, because um, just by the adjustments, just by the results I got from previous uh, recordings with the Pocket 4K and 6K, I haven't really tested the audio for 6K, but I expect the same. Uh, I know that this this is going to be it's going to be good, but we don't know how much more they improved on the preamps of this new one. But however, if it's the same preamp just as it is, I still we can use. I still think we can use it in a professional settings, especially now with two XLRs. So, if you want to factor that in, we are making progress now. We're above two thousand five hundred. It has double mounts now, more than one uh, mount instead of just this. That's a plus. And oh, ladies and gentlemen. I just remembered because it's not so important to me right now that's why I forgot but I know I'm going to be getting the EVF now you may not need it that, that's more cost right that's more cost trust me 450 495 almost 500 bucks it's cheap if that is good if it's usable if it's really good then that EVF can really you know judging from the Osa mini pro g2 i think a lot of people were happy with their evfs and correct me if i'm wrong anyway i never got mine but i saw review that uh it it's awesome right okay so um uh, if we can get a good enough evf that is a no-brainer you want to you know for, for some real situations you want to 
keep your eye in there and dial it in you know in a, in a lot of case situations the evs will the evf will do you better justice than the than a monitor for when you have the evs right here it looks like a tv screen that is a plus trust me i am I, and it's gonna be on here mounted on here and it's already built in so getting that alone even though i'm not getting the evf right away it's gonna kill i mean get me rest assured that when i need the evf boom it's coming in i just get it and put it in place and i know that that project that i need it for you know um it's gonna be relevant like i don't think i would do a feature film without that evf if i'm shooting on this camera for example if it becomes uh, netflix appro approved um yeah i'm definitely getting that evf the, with all this it can easily be approved by netflix 